Catanduanas is an island province located in the Bicol region of Luzon in the Philippines. It is the 12th largest island in the Philippines. Its capital is Bayrak and the province lies to the east of Camarines Sur across Makeda Channel. It had a population of 260,964 people as registered in the 2015 census. The province comprises Catanduanas Island, also called Virac Island, the Panay Island, Leet Island, Palumbanes Group of Islands, Porongpong, Tignob and Calabagio, and a few other minor surrounding islets and rocks. The province is also home to various mollusk fossil sites, notably for the second oldest ammonite site in Philippine history. The sites also possess certain species of ammonites that can't be found anywhere else in Southeast Asia. Due to the rich geologic history and importance of the province, various scholars have stated that the province has a high chance of being declared a UNESCO Geopark Reserve if the province initiates a nomination to UNESCO. Catanduanas was a former sub-province of Ambos Camarines in the early 1900s and later of Albay. It gained provincial autonomy when Congressman Francisco Perfecto filled House Bill No. 301 which separated the province from Albay. It was approved on September 26, 1945 and subsequently signed into law by President Sergio Osmeña on October 24, 1945. Remigio Sosito, the last lieutenant governor, was appointed as the first provincial governor. When elections were held in 1947, Alfonso V. Ucero became the first elected governor. Etymology Isla de Cobos was Catanduana's first name, given by Spanish conquistadores during the early part of 1573 when came upon several tribes living in the thatched huts called Cobos. Catanduanas, is a Hispanized term derived from the word tandu, a native beetle and the samdong tree, which were both found in abundance throughout the island. Common reference to Catanduan or Kasamdongan, meaning a place where the tandu or the samdong tree thrives in abundance, led to the coining of the word Catanduanas. History Pre-Spanish period Bornean Datus settled on the island of Panay. Their descendants then migrated throughout the archipelago and became the first settlers in Catanduanas. The island was not spared from raids of the Moros coming from the island of Mindanao. Because of these destructive raids, many records of the past were destroyed and lost. Spanish period 1573 when Juan de Salcedo arrived in Catanduanas hunting for pirates, and conquered the natives. Three years later, a galleon expedition from Acapulco was shipwrecked near the island and the survivors were either killed or made servants. The Badale Church in Bado, just several kilometers from the capital town of Bayrak, marks that historical event. Evangelization the evangelization of the island started 20 years later when the soldiers of Spain, after subjugating the Bicol mainland, came back with Franciscan missionaries. The missionaries armed with the cross and backed by the sword of the conquistadors evangelized the entire population without much resistance, after initially converting the southern tribes. Christianization from 1600 to 1857, the colonizers were able to put up nine centers of local governments through the establishment of parishes, Karamoran 1601, Pandan 1650, Viga 1661, Panganaban 1663, Bayrak 1775, Bado 1830, and San Andres 1853. During the early 1950s, Baras was created. Bagumanok, a thriving municipality during the Spanish period was reduced to a mere barrio of Viga and later of Panganaban, during the American regime. It formally became a municipality in 1950 followed by Gigmodo in 1951, and San Miguel in 1952. It was during this period that the island saw its own development growth. Interlinking roads built and trading centers created. American period during the American regime, some locals refused to recognize the sovereignty of the United States, and most of them fled to the mountains. The American occupation did not last long. In 1934, the Americans had seized control of the island. World War II During World War II, Catanduanas was not spared from Japanese invasion. 
The Japanese erected garrisons in different parts of the island and heavily fortified it. Independence Day Three months after the Philippine independence from the Americans, Catanduanas was finally recognized as a separate and independent province from Albay through Commonwealth Act No. 687 authored by then-Representative Francisco Perfecto. The independence was approved by Congress on September 26, 1945, signed into law by President Sergio Osmina Sr. on October 24, 1945, and took effect on October 26, 1945. Catanduanas became the sixth province of the Bicol region with the signing of the act. Remigio Sosito, the last lieutenant governor of Catanduanas was appointed as the first provincial governor. When elections were held in 1947, Alfonso V. Ucero became the first elected governor. On September 26, 1945, Catanduanas after recognized as a separate and independent province, under Republic Act No. 159, dated June 26, 1947 the former municipality of Caramoan was recreated out of the municipality of Pandan, under R.A. Number 491, dated June 12, 1950, the municipality of Bagamanak was also created. Geography Catanduanas is situated in the easternmost fringe of Luzon, 13.3 to 14.1 degrees north latitudes and between 124.1 and 124.3 degrees east longitudes. The island bounded on the west by the Makeda Channel, on the south by Laganoy Gulf, and on the north and east by the Philippine Sea. Several small islands comprise the province. Its aggregate land area totals approximately 1,492.16 square kilometers 576.13 square miles. The coastlines, that stretch to almost 400 kilometers 249 miles, are jagged with many bays. The topography of Catanduanas Island is rugged and mountainous, becoming more pronounced towards the central portion of the island. Less than 10% of the land area has a slope gradient under 8%, mostly fractured and narrow strips of plains located along the coastal areas where most of the inhabitants are settled. The highest mountain peak is in Bacto, located between the municipalities of Vyrick and San Miguel with an elevation of 803 meters 2635 feet above sea level. It is the premier mountain range with broadly spread old growth forests and watershed which exerts widespread influence over its immediate environs that include the municipalities of Vyrick, Bado, and San Miguel. Other prominent mountain forms include the ranges, Obi and Caramoran, Cagmasoso in San Andres, and the Summit and Magsumoso ranges within the Viga and Gigmoto areas. The lowlands include the Vyrick Plain, Viga Plain, San Andres Plain and the Bado River Flood Plain. The coastal municipalities with limited lowland agricultural areas are Pandan and Karamoran. The more extensive lowlands are found in the southern parts of the province. The largest coastal plain is the contiguous wetlands of Viga, Panganaban and Bagamanak over which lies the widest area of rice paddies and Nipa mangroves. The province is mostly rugged and mountainous terrain. Its slope characteristics are 13% gently sloping to undulating, 1% classified rolling to hilly, 2% very hills and mountains, 47% level to very gently sloping, 32% steep hills and mountainous, and 5% undulating to rolling. 10 of the 11 municipalities of the province is situated along the coastal fringes, over which locate its mostly fractured plains. The only landlocked municipality is San Miguel with its Poblacion town center, sitting in a location entirely devoid of flatlands. The majority of the built-up areas occupy zones that are classified as flat to rolling. Flora and fauna The island is a biodiversity hotspot. Its rainforests are home to the Philippine brown deer, flying foxes, and other endemic bat species, warty pigs, civets, cobras, giant pythons, monitor lizards, sailfin lizards and other endemic animals. Exotic bird species such as the Philippine hornbill, rail, parrot, bittern, egret, pheasant, coot, lapwing, plover, Philippine duck, quail, owl, oriole, kingfisher, swiftlets and many more are also found. A record of Philippines Birding Trip Reports 
has found out massive bird species in several portions of the island such as the watershed and timberland forests reserve in Gigmoto where scattered deer populations are also usually reported. The Catanduanas bleeding heart, Gallicolumba luzana carubaventris, had experienced over-exploitation in the late 20th century. Although most forests are still intact, this species has suffered over hunting, making it very rare and is believed to be near extinction or already extinct as its last reported specimen was collected in 1971. The southern giant slender-tailed cloud rat, Budkant Budkin, which is found only in Catanduanas and the southern half of Luzon Island, is still widely reported. It is critically endangered as humans hunt them for food and to some extent, as pets. In mainland Luzon, sightings of the creature are already rare while in Marinduque, it is generally considered extinct. Inventory of the entomological fauna in the island has been conducted by various scientific institutions. A survey which was submitted to the National Museum has revealed interesting species in the forest reserve of Gigmoto and Pandan. A total of 2,000 entomological specimens and its allies were collected comprising 323 species under 45 genera and 50 families, the Catanduanas narrow-mouthed frog Colola kokachi, an arboreal amphibian found only in Catanduanas and some parts of Bicol, enjoys its diversity but is being carefully monitored. Another endemic amphibian Hylorana similis is found only in Catanduanas and Luzon Islands. The published research by Brown and Seiler in Journal of Biogeography 2013, actually reported this species in the forests of Gigmoto. One of the very recent species found in Catanduanas and portions of Bicol region is the new loam swimming skink, a legless reptile with its assigned scientific name Brachymels macasog. The dipterocarp forest also harbor numerous tropical plant species including the threatened species of pitcher plants and rafflesia as well as endemic banana varieties. Many highly economical hardwood trees such as yakal, apatong, pelosapis, and molavi are still found in the central forests through local reports indicate that these species are already threatened. Mangrove forests exist in several coastal areas but the largest locations are in Bankaroan, Viga Panganaban, Agoho in San Andres and Batale in Bado. Catanduanas reefs harbor many endangered and threatened types of mollusks such as giant triton, cowries, abalone, cone snails, conches, octopuses, squids, and nautiluses. Marine mammals are also reported to frequent on its eastern coast such as species of dolphins and whales which appear from March to June. Many edible marine algae such as collarpaw, bologna, and turbillaria also grow abundantly on its rough coasts. The island is nestled in the very beginning of the Kuroshio Current, a sea current that runs through the eastern Philippines, Taiwan, and Japan. Tuna migration, which is at its peak in the months of April and May, can be seen in the Makeda Channel. Dugongs were once known to swim on Catanduanas coasts, but this event is already becoming extremely rare. Catanduanas coast is one of the best spots for flying fish population. A flying fish can attain its fullest size in Catanduanas which may weigh 300 grams 11 ounces. Rabbitfish Siganus sp, a kind of reef fish is one of the most heavily exploited marine tropical fish in Catanduanas. Its fry that comes out in shallow coasts during the breeding season March to May, are fished in large volumes. Approximately 10 million rabbitfish fries are caught annually. That natural event supplies food for many people but its ecological impact can be devastating. Nature advocates started to strengthen their campaign for an eco-dialogue for this matter. Sea cucumbers are also abundant in many islets of the eastern coasts facing the Philippine Sea. Palumbanes province satellite group of islands has beaches with fine yellowish-white sand. It is also one of the most biodiverse marine zones of the island. However, coral reef exploitation has severely inflicted for the last 10 years on its waters. The local government and some sectors are already undergoing efforts to revive Palumbanes Island through building artificial reefs and employing fishing regulations. Weather and climate Without a pronounced dry season, precipitation is distributed fairly well throughout the year becoming wetter in the last quarter into the early months of the first quarter, when tropical disturbances and monsoon winds especially the northeast monsoon Amahan, bring in heavy rains. Other months are characterized by short periods of drier days and fine weather, except in July and August when the dry and gusty northwest monsoon winds intensify. Catanduanas' geographical position has it lying completely exposed to the Philippine Sea. 
Therefore, it is known as Land of the Howling Winds because it is frequently visited by tropical storms. Administrative divisions Catanduanas comprises 11 municipalities, all encompassed by a single legislative district. Demographics the population of Catanduanas in the 2015 census was 260,964 people, with a density of 170 inhabitants per square kilometer or 440 inhabitants per square mile. In May 2000, its total population was 215,356 with an annual growth rate of 1.42% from 1990 to 2000, and a population density of 142 per square kilometers. Over the following 10 years, the average annual growth rate was 1.35%, increasing the population to 246,300 persons in the May 2010 census. Almost all of the people of the province are natural-born citizens. Naturalized citizens, most of which are Chinese, comprised only about 1% of the population. The number of households totaled 41,019 with an average household size of 5.25. Religion Roman Catholicism is the religion of the vast majority, comprising 97% of Catanduanas' population. The remaining faith of the inhabitants is divided into the various religious, evangelical, Protestant groups such as Aglipayan Church, Baptists, Methodists, other evangelical Christians, Mormons, Jehovah. S. Witnesses, Iglesia ni Cristo, Seventh-day Adventist as well as Muslims. Prior to colonization, the region had a complex religious system which involved various deities. Among these deities include, Gugurang, the supreme god who dwells inside of Mount Mayan where he guards and protects the sacred fire in which Aswang, his brother was trying to steal. Whenever people disobey his orders, wishes and commit numerous sins, he would cause Mount Mayan to burst lava as a sign of warning for people to mend their crooked ways. Ancient Bicolanos had a rite performed for him called Atang, Aswang, the evil god who always tried to steal the sacred fire of Mount Mayan from his brother, Gugurang. Addressed sometimes as Aswang, he dwells mainly inside Mount Malinau. As an evil god, he would cause the people to suffer misfortunes and commit sins. Enemy of Gugurang and a friend of Bulan the god of the moon, Halia, the masked goddess of the moonlight and the arch enemy of Bakunawa and protector of Bulan. Her cult is composed primarily of women. There is also a ritual dance named after her as it is performed to be a countermeasure against Bakunawa. Bulan, the god of the pale moon, he is depicted as a pubescent boy with uncommon comeliness that made savage beast and the vicious mermaids, Majindara tame. He has deep affection towards Majindong, but plays with him by running away so that Majindong would never catch him. The reason for this is because he is shy to the man that he loves. If Majindong manages to catch Bulan, Halia always comes to free him from Majindong's grip, Majindong, the god of the sea and all its creatures. He has deep affection to the lunar god Bulan and pursues him despite never catching him. Due to this, the Baikalanos reasoned that it is to why the waves rise to reach the moon when seen from the distant horizon. Whenever he does catch up to Bulan, Halia comes to rescue Bulan and free him immediately. Okat, god of forest and hunting, and Bakunawa, a gigantic sea serpent deity who is often considered as the cause of eclipses, the devourer of the sun and the moon, and an adversary of Halia as Bakunawa. S main aim is to swallow Bulan, who Halia swore to protect for all of eternity. Languages There are two variants of the Bacol languages native to this island province, northern Catanduanas Bicolano and southern Catanduanas Bicolano. The northern accent has a very pronounced letter, R, that becomes a diphthong of non-vowel letters, L, and R. In the southern towns, in written form, the conventional mainland language like Central Bacol is used. Filipino, by virtue of being officially taught in schools and the affinity of most Bicolanos to it, is the second most common language and easily the most understood by most people. English is the normal medium used in primary communications. The use of the Spanish as a local language seems to have vanished after the turn of the early 21st century and so on. 
Sociolinguistics. When the Spaniards came to the Philippines, Catanduanas, being on the Pacific Ocean side and on the very route of the galleon ships, was one of the first places they penetrated to propagate Christianity. The Spanish priests founded churches in every town. People from mainland Bicol also traveled to Catanduanas, specifically Caramoran which is directly across from Albay. The research of McFarland on the year 1974, the dialects of Bicol area, stated that until the advent of the 20th century and the development brought about by modernization, northern Catanduanas was quite isolated from mainland Bicol and southern Catanduanas, resulting in less opportunity for contact between different groups. One probable reason why the northern Catanduanas language variety is distinct from the southern Catanduanas variety is that the mountainous terrain separating the north from the south acts as a barrier to community interaction. The lack of good roads and transportation arising from the terrain contributed to the present situation. Since the seaport is in Virac, northern Catanduanas remained in isolation from other subgroups for quite some time. Furthermore, the inhabitants of northern Catanduanas were the first occupants of the island to have been pushed northwards when immigrants from the mainland occupied the southern part of the island. This supports the closeness of the southern Catanduanas variety to other Bicol subgroups while the northern Catanduanas has more distinct features. Ethnic groups The predominant ethnic group is the Bicolano people. Migrants from other parts of Luzon, as well as Visayas and Mindanao, make up a minority as well. Few, who are of Chinese, Australian, American, and Spanish descent also live in the province. Government Catanduanas was historically a part of the Albay province. On October 26, 1945, it was separated from Albay and was declared an island province through Commonwealth Act No. 687. When the island was still in transition to becoming a full-pledged province, it was headed by Lieutenant Governor Felipe Olesco Usero. Gubernatorial elections for Catanduanas started in 1948. The People Power Revolution in February 1986 ushered in new leadership. Former Ambassador Leandro I. Versalis Sr. was appointed governor of the province. In 1988, Governor Leandro I. Versalis Sr. ran for governor and won the election. His term ended in 1992 when lost to Governor Rosalie A. Estacio. After Governor Estacio, Governor Severo C. Alcantara became the governor of the province in 1995. Governor Alcantara did not run for re-election due to failing health. In 1998 Governor Hector S. Sanchez won the election. Governor Sanchez ran for re-election but lost to Governor Leandro B. Versalis Jr. who became governor for two successive terms. In 2007 synchronized elections, Governor Versalis run again for his third and last term for governor but lost to Governor Joseph C. Kua, who became governor from 2007 to 2013 for two successive terms but lost to Governor Araceli B. Wong last May 2013 election. In the May 2016 election Governor Selly Wong's son Jardin Brian Wong lost to then-Governor Joseph Kua as governor of the province. Governor, Joseph Kua, United Nationalist Alliance, UNA. Vice Governor, Shirley Abundo, Nationalist People's Coalition, NPC. List of then governors. Provincial board members. West District, 1st District. East District, 2nd District. Congressional districts The lone legislative district of Catanduanas is the representation of the province of Catanduanas in the Philippine House of Representatives. Catanduanas was represented as part of Albay's second district from 1907 to 1931, and fully comprised that province's fourth district from 1931 to 1946. It started electing its own representative in 1946, after becoming a full-fledged province in 1945. From 1978 to 1984 it was part of the representation of Region 5 Rep. Cesar Sarmiento PDP Laban. Economy 
The island is the most progressive province in the Bicol region in HDI ranking although it placed just a little minus 0.3 in the HDI national average. The 2009 report of HDN, Human Development Network, which is a branch of the United Nations HDI, Human Development Index, listed the province as ranked first in the region or ranked 20th at 0.630 HDI value, excluding Metro Manila, among Philippine provinces HDI. S. For reference, the province of Albay ranked second in the region or ranked 41st among Philippine provinces HDI. S. Excluding Metro Manila, at 0.518 HDI value, agriculture, fishing, and tourism are some of the other main sources of employment on the island. Several handicrafts such as jewelry manufacturing and other small-scale industries also contribute to the province's economy. The province is rich in natural resources such as forests, waterfalls, rivers, mineral deposits and productive soil made fertile by volcanic ashes of distant Mayan volcano. Rattencraft, fishing, burry hat and mat making, and abaca fiber craft are among the important industries of the island. Bayrak, the capital town of the island was among the top in terms of infrastructure in 2012 Most Competitive Municipality Category according to the National Competitiveness Council NCC. Industry the five major income sources of Catanduanas are the services, agriculture, and fishing, tourism, housing, and manufacturing industries. Cottage industry and manufacturing From 2001 through 2010, the Philippines' production of abaca fiber, Manila hemp, averaged 65,701 mt per year and was decreasing at a rate of at least 0.8% per annum. The decrease was caused by the devastating typhoons in 2006, abaca viral diseases that continued to affect the plantations, and the dampened foreign demand brought about by the global economic recession beginning in the latter part of 2008, the most severe downturn since the Great Depression in the 1930s. Production reached its peak in 2008 at 77,387 mt as outputs of all producing regions, particularly Bicol, Davao region and Caraga, substantially increased during the period. This was primarily the effect of the incremental production from the abaca plantations established in 2005 and 2006 under FIDA's program Goal I. Development of New Agri-Business Lands and the continued strong demand and attractive prices offered for the fiber by local traders, processors, manufacturers, and exporters. The abaca industry, however, suffered a setback in 2009 when fiber yield slumped to its lowest level of 54,584 mt due to the weakened market demand and falling prices as a consequence of the worldwide financial crisis. Catanduanas Island is the native habitat of the endemic abaca plant, a banana relative, which is globally renowned for its strong fiber. In fact, the Philippines FIDA Fiber Industry Development Authority declared the island as the highest abaca producing province in 2010. In 2009 to 2013, the Philippine Rural Development Program (PRDP) and the Department of Agriculture, Bicol Region had 39% share of Philippine abaca production, emerged as the biggest produce while overwhelming 92% comes from Catanduan as the biggest abaca producing province in the country. The home of the finest grade of abaca fiber Lately, the indigenous abaca fiber, commonly called poke, produced and woven by the locals of Baras, Catanduanas, has now found its niche in the local and international fashion industry. This indigenous fabric has shown its versatility in the globally appealing designs and creations of famous fashion designer Dita Sandico Ong. Until now wild type of abaca can still be found in the interior forests of the province which is often not cultivated. Despite having been ravaged by three super typhoons in the last two decades, Catanduanas has maintained its abaca country status as the top abaca fiber producing province in the Philippines. In 2015 alone, the island's 12,789 abaca farmers produced 23,550 metric tons of raw fiber, comprising 40% of the total abaca fiber production nationwide. The local fiber harvest is even higher than the production of Ecuador, the second biggest abaca producer in the world after the Philippines. Agriculture and fishing 
Catanduana's mud crab industry is being supported by the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources, Department of Science and Technology, Department of Environment and Natural Resources, Department of Labor and Employment and Catanduana State University. The provincial government is maintaining the Catanduana's Crab Center, CCC, which serves as a source of crablets for grow-out and fattening by fish pond operators. It carries out a special program for queen, or gravid crabs designed to ensure the sustainability of the industry in the province, which originally owned the crab capital of the Philippines, title. The province's mud crab industry is focusing on the production of female crabs that play an important role in marketing, particularly in Asian countries such as Japan, Taiwan, Hong Kong and Singapore. Tourism The tourism industry in the province is growing relatively quickly despite the fact that the island experiences almost year-round typhoons, labeling the province as a typhoon capital of the Philippines, with the tagline, the land of the howling winds. Catanduanas is known for its beaches, prehistoric caves, quaint stone chapels and massive churches. Despite the typhoons, safe anchorage is provided by its many bays and coves notably Kalapalan, Gigmodo, Sabak, and Cabago. Its specific coastline attracts surfers, particularly at Baras. The province features beaches with fine sand and coral formations and several caves which include the Luyang Cave. The Pagasa Weather Radar Station offers panoramic views of the environs, while the Museo de Catanduanas has a fine collection of artifacts. The ideal time of the year to visit Catanduanas is from the months of March to August when the weather turns dry. It is coolest and rainiest from October to the early part of January, hottest from March to May. The tourism industry in Catanduanas continues to receive a positive response from foreign and domestic travelers, with the Provincial Tourism Office recording an increase in tourist arrivals by 15.89% in 2014 compared to the previous year. Based on the comparative data of travelers, 151,550 foreign and domestic tourists visited the island last year, or about 21,000 greater than the 2013 arrivals of only 130,766 visitors. Tourist attractions Parer and Majestic Wave Beach, one of the top surfing destinations in the Philippines today. It is home to the Majestic Wave that top surfers from all over the world visit during the surfing season, July to October. Binarong Point, it is one of the newest attractions the island of Catanduanas can offer. A Batanes, Ireland hills and cliffs look and feel. St. John the Baptist Catholic Church, located in Poblacion, Bato near the Bato River. It is the only remaining structure of its kind in the entire island. The church is of interest not only as a mid-colonization Filipino-Spanish architecture but as a historical landmark. It was built under the Polo system of forced labor for a total of 53 years under six different parish administrators. Started in 1830 and finished in 1883, Bato Church has withstood wars, calamities, and ravages of time. Holy Cross of Batalay Shrine, located in Batalay, Bato. It is the site where the first Catholic cross was planted in Catanduanas and was built over the burial place of Augustinian priest Fray Diego de Herrera in 1576 who died in Batalay, Bato. Legend says that a spring water sprouted near the cross believed to have healing powers. It is a common belief that the cross presently enshrined in the Batalay Chapel is still the original cross planted more than 420 years ago. Batalay has been the center of annual religious pilgrimages from people of different places. The Holy Cross of Batalay is a diocesan shrine with the right to hold a liturgical celebration on the last Friday of April every year. Our Lady of Sorrows Shrine, located in Batong Palaway, San Andres. The thumbnail-sized river stone bearing the mystical face of the Virgin Mary found on a river bank is believed to have grown in size over the years. At present, one can view the image with the bare eyes unlike before, when one had to use a magnifying lens. The image has drawn many devotees throughout the years and Mass is heard every Friday afternoon as devotees flock the chapel regularly to pray the Rosary and Novenas. Every Lenten week celebration, people on Holy Thursday walk from Virac and as far as Batalay, Bato on a penitentiary pilgrimage to visit and pray to the Lady of Sorrows. Income 
Commonwealth Act No. 687, created Catanduanas as an independent province, however, it was Republic Act 7160 that gave local government unit, LGUs, total independence in managing its administrative, fiscal, and development affairs in conformity with the national government thrust for sustainable social and economic growth. Culture Festivals and celebrations Katandungan Festival Katandungan Festival is an annual celebration of the island province. It is the anniversary celebration and tribute to its founders, to commemorate the province's independence from Albay. The main features of the festival are street dancing, pantomina dance, beauty pageant, agro trade fair, sports fest, guided tour, surfing cup, and art photo exhibits. It occurs every October 24 to 26. Abaca Festival. Abaca Festival is an annual cultural celebration of the province to recognize the importance of abaca in the local economy and to showcase its versatility as a major source of livelihood. Highlights of the festival are Padadiav Janamlongan or Padadiav Khan Abaka, Pinup Folk Fashion Show, Urag Katandungan Sports Competitions, Kantang Katandungan or Musica Khan Isla, Festival Dance Competition, Binabini and Jinung Bakol, Hagyan Sa Kabitunan and Jobs Fair. It occurs every fourth week of May. Folk Festivals the folk festivals celebrated as part of the local religious rituals are with unique traces of the Spanish colonization. Among these festivals include Burek Burek Festival is a Viraknan celebration in honor of their patroness Nuestra Señora de Immaculada Concepción. The capital town Virac is believed to have its name originated from Burek, a local term for a flower. Dinahit Festival is a prime festival in the municipality of Pandan celebrated every April. The word Dinahit is a native sailing vessel used by the Austronesians to travel across the ocean to reach Pandan, the northernmost municipality of the province. Festival activities include street dancing, beauty pageant, trade fair, and different contests such as Carabao race and boat race. Manic Manic Festival held annually as a town fiesta every 12-13th of June, a celebration of the Bagamanonon character, culture and way of life centered on the peculiarities of Manic, chicken, the very word from where the name of the municipality was taken. Street dancing depicting the salient characteristics and movements of the chicken highlights the festival. Sugbo Festival is celebrated by the seven barangays of Hitoma in Karamoran that produces sugbo or tiger grass, a bamboo-like perennial grass used to make brooms. Celebrated every month of May coinciding with the Hitoma Barangay Fiesta, it is being institutionalized with the support of the provincial government, LGU of Karamoran and national line agencies to promote the commercial development of the local Lhasa or tiger grass industry and to create signature products from tiger grass. Bada's festival happened every year 10th of August. The festival captures the heroic character of the people of Baras. Bada's, local term for wild rattan, was made into spears in olden times to ward of Moro raiders thus, emerging as an apt description of the indomitable spirit of the Barasnans. During the war they were the first in Katanduanas to resist the invading Japanese forces. Abacaco Festival is an annual celebration in the 10th of June. It is about the nature's beauty and agricultural abundance of the municipality. Abaca became a prime industry. The cacao gave sweetness to a family's dining table. The coconut, which is the tree life, became part of their everyday life, gave strength to the copper industry. Umasilhag Festival Gigmatos Town Festival of Merrymaking and Thanksgiving, happen every 14th-15th of the month of May. Kinnis Festival The Crab's Capital Festival the town of Panganaban was considered as Katanduana's crab capital for its 218.47 hectares of fish pond and its vast mangrove areas producing abundant supply of delicious and palatable mud crab well liked for its taste, texture and nutritive value and even branded as the tastiest crab in Bicol. Highlighted with float parade with their princess of crab, exotic street dance in their crab costumes and eat all you can promo of their seafood menu especially steamed or cooked crab. It happened annually every 25th of July. Barunyogan Festival Barunyog, is an old Bicolano word for being united. 
Combining this to Niyog, or coconut a unique name for our celebration was created. Baruniyogan gives importance to the benefits of coconut in the town of San Andres. Himuluan festival depicting the joys and hardships of the common traditional way of planting, harvesting, threshing, drying, airing and the like. Himulon festival gives the clear picture of how Viganans face hardships and bear uncertainties, how they survived and go on, with life despite the weather disturbances aggravated by the visit of Amahan and even floods. Kagaring is a native depiction of the nativity scene held annually during Christmas season. Pantomina is a native dance, popular on occasions of importance and mostly practiced in rural areas. It is a dance interpretation pantomime, of a rooster courting a hen. Calvario or Calvary, commonly staged during Holy Week, is a reenactment of the Passion of Christ's Way of the Cross annually celebrated in the municipality of San Andres during Holy Wednesday and Good Friday. Padadyao Sa Tinampo is native cultural presentation of street dancing held every October 24 to commemorate the province's founding anniversary. Fishermen from Katanduanas have always been linked to Benham Rise. Katandunganan people have been calling it Kalipung Awan, loneliness in an isolated place. Benham Rise is an integral part of Katandunganan culture. Rich marine resources are given by this marine biodiverse zone to Katandunganans. In fact, Katandunganans have long been celebrating this place even in their ancient folk songs, stories and poetry. Education Vyrak, the capital town, is the educational center in the province, hosting a number of schools specializing in various degrees. The most notable include the Katanduanas State University CSU, with a campus in the northern town of Panganaban. It was established on June 19, 1971, through Republic Act 6341, authored by Catanduanas Congressman Jose M. Alberto, which converted the Vyrick National Agricultural and Trade School into the Catanduanas State College. The college was elevated to university status in October 2012. Other notable schools include the Katanduanas Colleges CC, Katanduanas Institute of Technology Foundation CITFI, and Christian Polytechnic Institute of Katanduanas CPIC. Senior High School The table below contains the list of public senior high schools published by the Department of Education or DEPT. Included on the list are the municipalities, school ID, school names, and program offerings. Services Police services The Philippine National Police in the province is composed of the local police force and the fire brigade services. The province crime rate is 6.39 in 2006. Crime volume over the same period was 191. Media entertainment Local cable companies operate in most towns. TV repeaters allow access to Manila broadcast stations. Satellite dish is a common sight in rooftops of houses in remote areas. Power supply Electrical power is supplied by power plants, a mix of diesel-powered generators and hydroelectric turbines. Electricity is served on 24-hour basis to all the 11, 11 municipalities. Catanduanas has a 220-volt multi-ground electrical system, power distribution system run by FICELCO, First Catanduanas Electric Cooperative. The power company engage in power distribution in this island or NAPOCOR and SunWest. Transportation Air Vyrick Airport is the primary airport serving Catanduanas with scheduled flights to Manila. Sea From the seaport of Tabaco, MV Calixta 2, 4 and 5 travels to the port of San Andres. MV Eugene Elson and fast craft service MV Salangan can travel in just one hour and a half which docks in the port of Vyrick. Land Overland, a 12-hour bus ride from Manila to Tabaco, in Albay, is needed to cover the 580 kilometers 360 miles distance. 
Several ferry services in the port of Tabaco offer connections to San Andres, which takes about two and a half hours, or to Virac Seaport, at three and a half hours, or at least one and a half hours for fast craft service. Numerous bus lines operate air-conditioned and ordinary buses and coaches travel from Manila to Tabaco in Albay. Some of these buses are loaded to the ferry for its final stop in the town of Virac. Transportation around the island is provided by jeepneys, vans and bus for inter-town travel, while tricycles and pedicabs will take you around the towns. Private vehicles are also available for hire, which can take you to any point of the island. Notable people from Catanduanas See also List of islands of the Philippines Notes References NSCBRD5 External links Media related to Catanduanas at Wikimedia Commons Geographic data related to Catanduanas at OpenStreetMap Official website of the Provincial Government of Catanduanas DILG Regional Office No. 5, Bicol Region